Alright guys, how are you going? And uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, another video uh, in Harry... What? Or Hogwarts, I should say. Hogwarts IOC. Another uh, video for Hogwarts IOC today. Let's get this show on the road. So we're going to go back to our character for today, and uh, we'll be where we left off uh, last night, or yesterday. So we'll probably do another a longish video today. So we just finished the um, library uh, restricted section area. So again, we're going to be doing the same sort of thing, and. Uh, as we see quests or uh, whatnot, Revelio. Uh, we'll be grabbing them and uh, doing just that. So stuff like this, we'll be hunting around and doing. So who is that? That that must be in the library. Up top there. So yeah, we'll be. Uh, oh, we're gonna follow this guy. I know exactly what this is. There you go. So you'll do a quest with these. Oh, we, we did the quest yesterday, didn't we? Um, so now you got to kind of like slap it into the hole when he goes across. Yes. And there it is. You gotta be real quick. It's really annoying. Um, so yeah, we got another house. Tour. Got top here and find that uh... Revelio. Is that D? I don't know who that was. I swear that was D. Just a traitor. So we come down here. Oh. Lumos. So it's basically down there where he is. Hello. Are we gonna get in trouble for being here? Yeah, no. Thank God. Right here. Right. Follow me. It must be daylight because the people are starting to walk around again. Ah, pretty. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. It's basically telling us to head back to his classroom. So we'll just, uh, yeah, head back to his classroom, pick up any side quests and complete them if we see them along the way. Honestly, doing the side quests and all that sort of stuff um, will help you in the long run because sometimes you'll get quests that are locked and you have to complete another particular quest Revelio. before you can um, or an assignment or something. Anything, anything story, so... Of the new couples. Off on another adventure, are we? Alright, do we have. We do. Grab this chest in here this time. Gotcha. Get a bit of cash. Revelio. Oh, really? So I, I think I Revelio that area. Start the quest. Oh, 
there's something on the table there. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Alright, well, I've got a mission quite far away now. Uh, we've also got herbology class to do. So this is kind of, unless you've already done it, so this is kind of where you learn. Heard you defending Hogsmeade again. There's a world map, so this is where you can't find that sort of uh, deal, if you haven't already looked at it. And then you realise, like, my god, this game is big, like, it's big. Uh, on my other character, I've only done, like, the northern half of the area and come down to about, about there. So I'm really just above these two hamlets, although I also got one, two, three, four more to kind of collect and do and... Oh, the game's 
It's pretty large when you come to think of it. So. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me. Alright, let's um see what assignments we have. Successfully avoid dodging enemies, so that's okay. We'll Dead keys, round three. Probably should do that one. And then the practice. And apart from that, I don't think there's any more um, missions really in the castle. Apart from there. Just his mission. No missions there. We've pretty much done all the missions, haven't we? Oh, we can always go to Hobology. So let's head off. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Stalin. He never backs down. This one will only be a short episode today, guys. I just got a few things to do. Uh, I was hoping to get uh, an hour out of it, but 30 minutes. Uh, we'll just do a little bit. Um, go and see what the pubology class is all about. And uh, head down uh, and do the combat ones. There's two side quests. Is there in the same location? I'll have to go, unfortunately. Handy. Is she growing pungent? Begin ugly the again? quest. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You, hmm. 
I wonder if hippogriffs like not grass. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my staff this long way. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion. As you... Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganwell potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Well, at least they were, um... Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice work in Defense Against the Dark Arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take All your right. time. I'll see you back in class. Back. I'm seeing things. I'm really, really tired. I am seeing things. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good. Thank you, Professor. But looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. As we herbologists like to say, Tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Alright. So that's our herbology quest. Now we did have that um oh, I must have accidentally clicked on. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. 
Now, you honestly don't, I believe, have to do this um, dummy thing straight away. The boy was trying to be nice to me the other day. There it is. Where are you going, mister? I fell asleep in traffic. This one once upon a time too. Oops, too, too quick. Gotta go now. Oh, I gotcha. Don't be a smart, smart little cookies. We'll be on the hunt for all of those. And you put place it in the in the house chest. As we hear them. Do them now. I think we've got two. Oh, well, we got three now. What are you up to now? Be a cab run around. There it is. They run pretty quickly. Brilliant. Got ya. So I think we have three of these tokens now that I haven't handed into the chest. That's alright. So that's what? Four out of six. Once you find them all, then yeah. You get something really remarkably cool. I have a feeling I already know what it is, but I kind of still don't want to spoil it myself. But that's alright. Oh, we got a... Incendio! And there's another one. Revelio. Just skipping around the house. Yep, cool. You, you can skip all you like when you get the blue network on. But you miss out on so much. Like, so, so much stuff. Um, no, they're not at all. Levioso! Accio! Incendio! Don't know what that is. Who knows? Look out! Double one lock. Need your champion coming through! Alright, here we go. Let's uh, do the dummy. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea! This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. All right, so... Accio. Incendio. 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 Good one. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. You'll get it. Now, I was doing a bit too quick. Incendio. Let me 
Machio. Incendio. Gotta be just a little bit slower. Please, sir. Levioso. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face slower. you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. Other jewelers had better beware. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? I'll go it alone. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. And they all get little. Let me go. Protect them. Can sprinkle. Accio. Don't always work. They made a crop of bread just out of you. Gotta take out, take out those red ones first, eh? Yes, I'm. Very well. Good luck. Gotta take out them red ones first, eh? All right. Incendio. 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 There goes. That hurt. Alright, one down. There you go. Akio. Levioso. Incendio. Levioso.
<laughs> I could never duel with so that. The ones that have the red do a lot more damage. What a victory! You've won the tournament! I got lucky. It was mostly luck, that's all. Please, you wouldn't have got this far on luck alone. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. <laughs> the best duelist won, I suppose. Well, I guess I love that clock tower thing. That's amazing. It's where Harry Potter walked in the first time. But anyways, as all good things come to an end, uh, this is only going to be a short one. I did say I was going to be long, but uh, I got a phone call. So we will call it here, uh, and uh, we'll get back into it again tomorrow on another stream, another video. Um, oh, here we go. There is a sneaky thing. You can. Revelio. See them before actually. You just gotta keep your eyes on your so. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, until next time.